I, I got to be honest with you. It, it's the strangest thing in the world. You want men to be more like men? You should be more like a man. Because you are a man. Hello, everybody. My name is Simple Son, and uh, we're back today. And um, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Raimundo Lopez, right? And uh, better known as, a.k.a. Gorlock the Destroyer. Now, uh, Fox News Digital, um, one of their interns, um, did interview style piece with uh, this person goes by Gorlock the Destroyer. Don't I, I? This isn't me saying this. There are new, you know, poster child of what men are supposed to be. Well, at least explaining to you that hey, you know, this person wants you, a man, to be more like men, right? They're the ones talking about how terrible it is men being feminine in the United States. And uh, we're going to take a little snippet of uh, what this interview was through, again, Fox News. And uh, we'll come back, talk about it. I'm going to try to, <laughs> I'm going to try to hold, um, you know, laughter back. And, I, 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 you know, the, the views being shared today, um, it, it scared the shit out of me. So we're going to take a look at that video and I'll bring you right back. My, I don't I'm not a big fan of toxic masculinity or like whatever like the the norms I guess but I like when there's just like a little bit of that like I'm the man and I'm gonna take charge you know like because like why not you know I feel like a lot of boys need to start being boys though like when it comes to like the male roles because a lot of like men nowadays are expecting princess treatment and it's like okay well I want that energy just as much as but just as bad as you do. For example, like let's say I get a flat tire on the side of the road and we're together, you better know how to change that tire. Like you better know how to do these things. Cause if I have to call my dad, just like I said, no. No. Sorry. Sorry, babe. I, I gotta be honest with you. It, it's the strangest thing in the world. You want men to be more like men? Fuck, you should be more like a man. Because you are a man, right? Raimundo Lopez, right? You're talking about everybody else being more feminine. You turned more feminine, right? And I'm not even getting into your weight, right? Weight's one thing, right? That's a whole nother body image thing that, that we're going to get into this in a minute. But you, you say you're in a car with another man. They better be able to uh, change a tire, but you're not supposed to. Look, I, I get with the idea as everybody, you know... What you identify as is I'm supposed to respect that. I don't. I shouldn't. You shouldn't respect that, right? That, that people shouldn't be forced to respect anything that your views, right? The same way I don't respect the view of like, oh, everybody else should be a man, but you're not supposed to be, right? Who are you? Why are you misgendering me? Maybe I don't un identify as a man. Maybe boys uh, need to act, start acting like more like men. What if I don't ad identify that, right? I mean, I do. But who are you to say that what justifies that and what, you know, uh, rectifies me as a man? I, I, I don't think you're a really good judge of uh, character and, and, you know, status and identifiers of what is and what isn't because you were you were completely confused and call your dad up call your dad up i'm surprised your father even speaks to you to be honest with you uh the 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 social stigma of shame um should we should bring that back right D this this is the, the the most absurd thing and half-assed backwards hypocrisy I've ever seen. And you know, it's not even hypocrisy. I, I don't know if this person is doing this to, to get clicks and views, um, but I, I would be ashamed of myself, even if I was in this person's shoes, right, to get on camera and actually say that and not realize the hypocrisy out of her damn mouth, his mouth. Raimundo Lopez, right? Gorlock the Destroyer. Um, it's it's the strangest thing, right? Y your views are so contradictory to your own lifestyle. And the gall, the nerve of you to actually say who is man and who isn't, right? It, it, it's, 
I, I'm so shocked about like you haven't been roasted alive in in uh, society yet. To be honest with you, um, but you know, this person's views don't only stop at whether what is man and what isn't a man, right? This person's views about body positivity uh, are, are skewed, right? This. It, I don't know if it was the first appearance. I, I've noticed uh, that this, this man has been on like Aiden Ross and other people's streams, Sneakos or whatever else. Uh, but the, the first time I've ever seen this person was uh, on a, what they call the Whatever podcast. Um, and one of the, the subjects they were talking about was uh, body positivity. So we're going to take a small little clip of that and we'll come back and um, uh, I'll, I'll comment on, on this person's activities. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Fat acceptance life. movement. Fat acceptance um, movement. I think the oh, fat acceptance yeah. movement that? is terrible. Body positivity. Sam, yeah. go ahead. You were about to say something. <laughs> okay, so like I, I am all for people being healthy, all about themselves. Like I said, like you have that, like I, I don't know how to say this, but like basically, like I get a lot of shit for what I wear. Like people are like, oh, you shouldn't wear that. It's for your body. Blah blah blah. You should get shit for what you wear. You should you should definitely be criticized, right? Everybody, if I wore something like that or anything like that, I should get criticized as well. For me, like I don't wear this shit to like be get it for attention. I do this because this is what makes me feel beautiful. This is. You should go get your money back. What I'm comfortable with my skin. Yeah, maybe I'm not supposed to wear this, but. Guess what I do for me? Because you're a baddie. Exactly. That's Full time. Certified. No, 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 no. This guy's trolling her right now and, and, and making jokes. It's it, it shouldn't be a joke, right? Time certified. Full time. Bad Full time. <laughs> no, bad that's never what it is. Like, I don't know if, if like, my fucking back row's coming out. Yeah, maybe there's some things, like, of course, I'm supposed to cover up, like, my nipples and private areas, whatever. But, <laughs> like, no, like, let's be real. Like, let, no, no, no. Like, let's be real. Okay, like, I'm a fucking plus size. I'm literally, I'm a fucking plus size trans woman living in Arizona. Wait, like, did you say you're trans? Wait, you're woman? trans? Yes, I'm trans. I thought, huh? she. I, we did not know this. I did yeah. not know that. See, now, they're just being trolling it instead of, you know, I mean, as far as I know, they're, they're just, they're, they're jesting around here. They're, they're joking. I'm a plus I thought you could always tell. Honestly, Apparently not. I, honestly, I thought that you were trans. Period. So, and honestly, but it, like, you can still be a full time baddie. Yeah, no, of course. And like I said, like, there's a lot of shit, especially like with. We already get a lot of shit within our own sisterhood of trans, of trans Jeez. girls. A lot of the trans girls are like all about the whole Kylie, BBL, whatever. You mean man dressing like as a woman? Right, in woman's clothes, pretending to be a woman. So it's woman face, right? You're you're appropriating womanhood, essentially. That's what I was gonna bring up too when you were talking about plastic surgery. Like I'm, like I said, I look probably through different perspectives than you guys because you guys are cis women. Period. Into the mic. Into oh, the period. Mic. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, everybody. of course. Um, but a lot of trans girls do the plastic surgery stuff just to necessarily fit in, and that's something that like me as myself like. Yeah, eventually, right now, I'm working on my own pace, like, of getting healthy, maybe getting a little thinner, feeling better about myself, but a lot of the girls... There shouldn't be a but. You need to stop right there. There shouldn't be a but. I'll come back to, to, to what I actually believe, but, I mean, there shouldn't be a but there, right? Like, getting healthy is a good thing. Especially the dolls. Like, that's what trans girls refer to themselves as the dolls, period. Mm -hmm. um, they kind of do the most outrageous things to fit into the category of let's have the BBL, let's have the fake titties, let's do the brow shave, let's do all kinds of things. And nine times out of ten, I don't even feel like, you know, a lot of girls do do it for themselves, but sometimes a lot of girls, a very small percentage, like, they do it for validation of men, you know? Word? You Word? Know? Now, I mean, I agree with that. Like, women do all this nonsense for, for uh, you know, attention of men where they they don't really need to do that, right? But it's it's selfishness because they actually want to do it for themselves. They're not really doing it for the men. Y yeah, it's to attract the men, but to make them feel a certain way, right? You know, ho behavior gets ho results, right? <laughs> Word. But Word. like I said, a lot of, a lot of the girls... Especially, like, how do I say this? A lot of the dolls do this for, like, themselves, obviously because they want to do it for themselves, but there's, there's still that very small percentage of girls who do it for boys. 
And, like, I just wish... No, they all do it for boys, but it's also a selfishness of, like, you know, it's just the attention. So that's one percent of the girls like, no, nah, like, you're a baddie already. If you want to go ahead and do something for yourself, BBL, titties, whatever, I'm all for it. But don't do it out of the validation for, like, a man. Do it for yourself. Yeah, but aren't you technically wearing all this nonsense, this, this, this woman face? For, you know, validation. Because, I mean, if you just believed you were a woman, you could just wear anything you wanted, right? You could just wear what they would call men's clothes and say, well, no, I'm a woman. What are you talking about? No, you're doing it for validation and, and as an identifier for yourself to propose, uh, you know, as a poster out to the world, right? You want people to accept you as a woman. That's why you do the things, right? So you want other acceptance. You want the acceptance of others because if everybody just said you were a man, you'd have you'd say you're misgendering me, right? Don't you clearly see what I look like? I changed them the way I look, so you know, you, you could have a, you know a clear view of who I am. I agree. Because of a trend, I, 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 exactly, I agree. or just I, to fit into what you think that that's what no, a woman should bro, look you like. Should women be come smashing the haram button at the at the uh, suggestion of these BBLs and fake titties and stuff. Where's that haram button when you need it? Wait, what? Am I, mis am I misunderstanding? Hold she, on. She's saying go get those BBLs. Oh, you're saying go get them. Yeah. yeah, yeah like if it makes you feel good. It, she's saying, if you're all don't go get, don't listen to this person. Don't go get BBLs and, and titties and, and whatever else. Just be you, ladies. That's all. Be a, be a godly woman. You know, have discernment about your own life. You are your choices. For it, then do it. Trans oh. or not trans, whatever. She's, She's saying, saying if you're doing it for yourself, yeah, not for it for yourself. yourself. Like, do it because it's like I, I want to walk around with a fat ass every day, on, and I, I, I love the way well, that I look. Who gets big cosmetic surgeries just for themselves, though? A every, lot of people. I, a lot of people. I feel like everybody's do. doing it for do. like the, the acceptance of the The only thing that would sex. be for yourself is a breast the reduction. The Sorry, mm -hmm. the only thing that would be for yourself is a breast reduction. I disagree, though. Because I agree. Hold on, let me let me just add to that. There are, I mean. Plastic surgery, surgery originally. I, I kind of feel like we moved away from the fat acceptance thing, right? Um, I, I was hoping they were going to delve more into that topic, but I think they're trying to move away from. It. They want to move away from it because it's it's such an obvious mess. Originated to fix things like World War One uh, soldiers from World War One who got like their face deformed, yeah, the and then like for example, women who have um, who have. Uh, or had breast cancer and they had a, a breast removed, they might get, uh, you know, a uh, implant to kind of balance it out where there's like an actual deformity caused by a medical condition. Um, yeah, but my point is people augmenting their bodies. It's pre with, primarily for cosmetic. Yeah, for cosmetic yeah. purposes, oftentimes it's to appear more attractive to the opposite sex. Hundred yeah. percent. It's for debauchery. You're getting surgery for debauchery. That's the only reason any of this this nonsense matters. Do I agree with like, you know, if you do actually have a deformity or you were injured or you were born a certain way and, and it doesn't look, you know, what you would say normal is, right? Like, I'm not saying you shouldn't love yourself, but if it looks abnormal, as, you know, aka you're, you're missing a breast and you want to have, you know, it evened out, you know, I have no... You know, there's no problem with that. I'm not interested in BBLs and just doing it for attention. Because that's what you're doing. You're doing it for selfish attention. And that's it. But then 100%. there's like those people who it's the pure op it's better to the opposite sex. But then we all know there's a lot of people with plastic surgery who look fucking terrible. Yeah. So they I'll look just, absolutely yeah. disgusting. And there's they're a whole doing show it. around it. Yeah. yeah. And they're, but they're, most of those people, they're really doing it for themselves. They don't care about what other people think because... 90% of the people around them are telling them they look terrible well, and they still continue to get more and more surgeries mm. It's usually a mental illness. They're deluded. They have body dysmorphia things like that yeah. But they are really doing it for themselves. Yeah. They might have started out like, you know another way But you can't tell me that like that cat lion lady isn't doing it for herself. Okay. She looks you, hold on. You wanted to say something. Go ahead Where, Did oh, you I want think, to say something I at think, some point? Um, that People absolutely do do it for themselves, but it does work hand in hand with everything that you know with again without the exception of like a deformity it's always for attention for yourself it's always a selfish reason so at the end of the day yeah you're doing it for yourself in the interim you're doing it for attention but it's for yourself at the end of the day right so i agree but it, it i will get back into it in a second
like male validation like you i feel like a lot of girls like look on instagram and see a picture of kylie jenner and like oh i want to look like that like i want to have a big butt like mm. i think it's it's, I think it I goes both big ways, butt so I can get more boys. Yeah. attention. it could be that, but I feel like that's not their first thought. Like, I want to do that because of. It's probably not their first. Th no, it's a subconscious thing, right? It's like, well, you know, I don't eat food just to taste the food. It's at the end of the day, it's sustenance, right? It's selfishness to survive, right? Because uh, if I was really hungry, I would eat any food, right? But. If I had a choice, I'm picking, you know, what they would consider more designer food, right? So at the end of the day, it's just, it's, it's, it's selfishness, right? It's horse behavior. Stop, but yeah. they intuitively know if I get this, I'm going to get more attention from boys. If yeah. like, boys didn't exist, they wouldn't be like, oh, I want a big I mean, butt. lesbians get it too. <laughs> that could happen though. Um, There's room okay. for that. Last thing. So it's, I just want to add, you know, a lot of you scoffed when I said I'd like large labia just saying some of you gave me some looks hold on oh, wait, Brian, can, we, can, I, can, hold I, on. can I say something real quick before one sec we one sec so women have preferences when it comes to male genitalia hmm. huh so so I can have a preference too. just saying women can have this is meaningless to be honest with you we're gonna move out of this um, I thought they were gonna lay more into the the fat acceptance thing um, but at the end of the day, this person is not, you know, a role model. You shouldn't, um, you, you, at the end of the day, you should not account for this person's opinion. You shouldn't be, um, worried about what this person thinks. Um, it, it's, at the end of the day, it's just for this person's debauchery, right? Raimundo Lopez's debauchery, Right live and let live and be free and and you know i bet you if you told this person ask this person you know i'm a heroin addict um you know but i'm not hurting anybody you know it's okay to be a heroin addict and i bet you they would actually convince themselves let alone try to convince you that that was okay right um this horish behavior we're going down a path of like no return I, I truly believe that. I, hopefully, um, enough stable people who, you know, have families, um, they're going to be the ones that replicate. They're the ones that are going to be moving on. Um, if you're afraid of society becoming more conservative, um, right-leaning, well, guess what? It, what's going to happen in the future is that this that's the only people that's going to be left because you're basically genetic dead ends. This person is your genetic dead end. It's not me saying it. I'm not, I don't uh, have hatred in my heart for this person. I have hatred for what they're spewing out of their mouth and, and what they're promoting because they're a gigantic billboard for, for debauchery. Um, I think society is going to have a harsh end. Um... I pray that it doesn't, and um, I hope Raimundo Lopez finds uh, God and um, retreats back on, you know, the decision they make with their horse behavior. Um, I think Raimundo Lopez, a.k.a. Gorlock the Destroyer, um, needs to stop telling men to be men or, or trying to define what that is. Um, changing a tire doesn't make you a man, um, you know. There's so many other things. I mean, being a man really is uh, the Xbox chromosomes and small gametes and, you know, even feminine men are just, at the end of the day, men. So, um, hopefully this man finds uh, Jesus, finds some God in their heart, uh, brings back down to reality. I hope we all find some reality. Um, if you like this content, uh, hit the like, subscribe. Notification bell, share it. Um, I know these are, I want to be clear, this is my opinions. Um, I don't want to give a shit about your opinions, because my opinions are my opinions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.